Hi, I'm Jonathan Green from Tejo, the place where Australians save time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information. Up next, everything you need to know about STCs. What are STCs? Most of our customers at Tejo ask, are there any government incentives for going solar? Our answer, yes. Yes, there are, and they are known as STCs. They aren't technically a rebate. However, that is the name that they've got over the years. And when something looks like a rebate, smells like a rebate, maybe it's a rebate. An STC is a small scale technology certificate. You'll also hear them referred to commonly as the solar rebate. Introduced in 2011, STCs are as part of Australia's renewable energy target. This incentive or rebate serves the purpose of reducing the cost of installing solar on your home or business through the creation of these technology certificates. The amount of STCs which are applicable to your solar system depends on the size of the system being installed. An average 6.6 .6 kilowatt solar system in 2020 is entitled to about 100 STCs, with the amount being about $38 per STC. So on a 6.6 .6 kilowatt solar system, you'll get a total rebate of around $3,800. How do I claim them? When purchasing solar, you'll notice on the quote, the price is listed after STCs. This is because in most, if not all cases, you'll assign the STCs over to your solar installer or retailer. You might be wondering, why would I assign my rebate over to someone else? STCs need to be claimed and the best process is handled by your installer or retailer. Once the system is installed, the installer or retailer will ask you to sign the STCs over to them. Once this is done, the installer or retailer will place this document with an aggregator for the rebate to be turned into real money. It takes the aggregator around four weeks to convert the STCs into cash. Plus, they can't do it one job at a time need to combine 5,000 STCs together to then be able to place them on the market at the current spot price. This is the equivalent of around 50 solar installations. Tejo tip. Once you sign the STCs over to the retailer installer, you don't have to do anything as you only pay the after STC amount. It's all taken care of. Are the STCs being reduced? Solar retailers and installers love to use the lowering STC amount as urgency to get the customer to purchase immediately. No one likes missing out and they know this. However, they sometimes use language which insinuates it's ending very, very soon, which just isn't the case. The reality is that they're being phased out not as quickly as anyone makes it out to be. The beginning of the phase out of the STC program officially started on the 1st of January, 2017. Prior to 2017, you were given 15 years of STCs in advance. As of January 1st, 2017, it was reduced to 14. Every 1st of January for each year until 2030, it is reduced by one year until the program will end. So to put it more simply, the value of the STC is reducing at around 7% a year compounding until 2030 when it will be nil. So they are being reduced at nowhere near the rate of lots of installers and retailers want you to believe. In saying that, the benefits of solar are vast. So if you're in a position to install solar, the sooner, the better, does ring true to some degree. I'm Jonathan Green from Tejo. That was everything you need to know about STCs. Thanks for watching.